Hoffman's Mineral Vlog is back June 30th, 2021, in the middle of the heat wave of 2021. Uh, this is my second take of this, because my first take, I got sidetracked, and I was talking about some kind of internecine feud discussion in my chosen field of work amongst people that I've never even met. And you know what? That's not for Hoffman's Mineral Vlog. Hoffman's Mineral Vlog is about positivity. And if dummies want to be dummies, they can be dummies on their own vlog. I got nothing to do with it. What I've got to do with today is the heat wave. Man, do we need a drink. Woo! So here's something special. I've, I've t talked about the genesis of this vlog being that I have a great uh, European supermarket near me that has an amazing collection of mineral waters. And much of what I've had thus far on the vlog have been from there. But I also went online and uh, I'll give them a shout out. There's a website called Salacious Drinks, which sounds really saucy. And um, they have mineral waters from around the world, which, you know, is kind of dumb to import these mineral waters, but whatever. Um, what I'm about to present is one of the more expensive ones. I think this bottle is $10. Like, I hope it was not that much. Maybe it was like $8. This is dumb. Um, there's one bottle there from Slovenia, right? That's a, that's a real country, Slovenia. And the bottle is $25 for a regular bottle of mineral water. I think my curiosity will, will eventually, maybe what I'll do is crowdsource that one, and that'll be my last one. But that's the future, man. Let's talk about today. So today's mineral water, and it's because it's so hot, we need something super cold. This water comes from north of the Arctic Circle, within the Arctic Circle, Lofoten. And Lofoten, here it is. Whoops, where did I go? Lofoten, Lofoten, first of all, look at that, is from technically Norway, but Lofoten is a little island. I looked at it on the map. You know how Norway kind of, you got, you got your Finland over here, boop, then you got Sweden, boop. It's a kind of a flaccid penis let's be honest sweden is like boop flaccid penis and then on top of it is norway norway is like you know uh like when you get sushi and there's like the the firm uh rice that's sweden and it's flaccid penis and then boop is the is the is the salmon on top and so norway is the salmon on top of sweden's rice did i just offend scandinavians i'm calling it like it is so there's the top, but then north of the top, there are like these little dots. Boop, 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 boop. And one of those dots is called Lofoten. And look at this. I mean, there's the, the Scandinavians, right? I mean, and they're, you know, they brought us the miracle that is Ikea, right? And all the great. So this is, um, there's a little, the sun is kind of um, ruining it a little bit. So here's what's happening. Lofoten is a very interesting bottle with this sort of like, um, uh, you know, it's like the, um, what's that building on West, uh, on East, um, thir on like 3rd Avenue and 50th Street, the, I think it's called the City Corp building in Manhattan. Uh, it looks like that. Now, the unfortunate thing is that I ordered from Salacious Drinks and, you know, I got these waters from around the world. They were delivered. They do a good, I give them a shout out, but this one was leaking a little bit. So, A, I might, I may be poisoning myself in a moment, but I doubt it. But this seal, can you see the seal? This seal was broken and water was coming out when I first got it. Now it is condensation. But so, um, and look at the embossment. Look at this classy shit, man. By the way, you brought this to a party to think it was vodka, right? No, it's Lofoten mineral water. So anyway, my point is this may be flat and um, I may dislike it. Uh, but uh, this, uh, this whole episode is under an asterisk because the, the seal was broken and it was leaking. Uh, but I'm not going to get another one because it's friggin' expensive. A little bit about their, uh, if you go to Lofoten's website, nice looking website, very modern looking. Arctic water, the source, they, they talk, it's uh, you know, rainwater surrounding mountains. Uh, it's, ba -ba -ba -ba. It gives you all the information about how much nitrate and potassium and whatever. But it's a nice website and it proves that the Scandinavians are kind of like the best, you know? They really... I've never been. I've been. I've been all over this great wide world, and I've never been to. Uh, I guess the closest I've been to a Scandinavian country would be. I was in the north of Germany for like three days, and that does not count. I was in Westphalia, 
which was interesting. All right, here we go. All right, no fizz at all. Yeah, this is... Oh. And no... No anything. Just kind of open. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. Would you drink this? Well, this is a cool goo -gaw. This is, you know... This is real. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of into... Um, safety seals as a general rule in life. I'm of the generation when safety seals safety seals first came. I remember a time when there was no safety seals and then there was poisoned extra strength Tylenol and then there were safety seals everywhere. It's like there was one shoe bomber and then there was take your shoes off everywhere. You know, maybe a good thing cuz shoe bomb shoe bomber guy was not exactly good. There was one weird situation where somehow extra strength Tylenol started poisoning people. No, I don't think they really know how that happened. I was very young. I was like, I don't know, seven or eight. All right, so I'm going to drink some extra strength Tylenol here. No bubbles at all. I'm assuming that this is meant to be a sparkling and not a still. I don't know for sure. Here goes. If I get poisoned, I did it all for the vlog. This was meant to be a sparkling. And Salacious Drinks, which has provided me with a lot of great material for this vlog, goofed on this. If I was a more, if I was kind of a pain in the ass guy, I would demand my money back. I don't. I never, I never send things back. If I go to a restaurant and order a ham sandwich and they give me a turkey sandwich, I eat the turkey sandwich. Who am I to complain? I should be, I should be honored that they made me a sandwich at all. I mean, ridiculous. I, I have, I have, I, 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 I can't send anything back. I'm too, hum I, I'm too, uh, I guess, you know, I'm an extroverted guy and I'm not shy, but when it comes to that kind of shit, I turn into a mouse. I really do. This is undrinkable. I'm not going to, well, I'll do one more sip and that's it. I have a beautiful, I spent $10 to, for the right to have a conversation with you today and I don't feel bad about it. It just tastes like kind of like eat like dirt water. I'm drinking dirt water. It's flat. It's 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 flat when it should have been sparkling, um, and it has like a dirt taste. And psychologically, it's freaking me out because it was leaking when I got it, and um, I'm thinking about extra strength Tylenol. So it's a bust. It's a bust, except to say that I can say if I'm asked down the line if I ever meet a Norwegian or Arctic Circle guy who um, I tell them that I did uh, a mineral water vlog, they can say, ah, oh, have you had a Lofoten? I can say, yeah, I had Lofoten. What do you think I am? Some kind of chump? 